right guys so as you can see i have my mid journey account up mr mydale follow me if you want to stay up to date on all of my uh creations and if you want to click on some of my uh work and look at some of the prompts that were used for each image uh this was for michael jackson and the wiz all right so what we're gonna do um in this tutorial is as you can see some of these images well first of all i love all of them but some of them they couldn't generate the background i wanted one thing i noticed about um mid journey is that you can it's either going to give you one or two things in my experience it's either going to give you a crisp clean you know image of the the subject that you want and it's going to be in the foreground it's going to look great but the background isn't really going to be too you know you know too much what you ask for that's in my experience or the background it look like really really cool but the the, the subject in the foreground are like look really distorted you know it's, it's i don't think it's got to the point where it can recognize you know focal length and, and keeping things sharp and not only that but non-distorted so uh, i hope that makes sense but um like these images like the subject would be in the foreground everything will look awesome but the background you know isn't what i asked for it only give it like in one variation it won't give it to me in all four of the variations or say for instance these we can see clearly see the background back here but the image is kind of distorted in the face you won't see too much detail it's like a loss in quality of detail in the face especially when you start going more of a full body image when, a, when a, the image starts to, uh, to get more of a full body, full length, the quality just like falls off on the face. You can zoom into the face and it looks like super blurred out and like, you know, kind of crazy. The person has like five or six, 12 fingers, like this little kid right here. You know, you see that? They're, they still have this finger issue they need to work on. But what I want to do is like, I was thinking, because I've, I've started um, my career years ago doing photo composites. I was like, well, why don't I just like take an image that I like and um, Extract it in Photoshop and just composite whatever background I want in the back and then I thought well, maybe let's just do Mid journey for both. Let's see if we can create um, An image that we you know created in mid journey and then create the background separately and just take that background and use that background as uh, you know the, the composite background for that uh, image that we're looking for so I think that's what we're gonna do today and so basically let's, let's see if we can try to find the image right quick I think this is the tin man as you can see I, I was doing remaking the Wiz like a modern day Wiz uh, as you can tell this is Dorothy all right and the last guy was the tin man these are the munchkins obviously and that's Michael Jackson, the Scarecrow. And you have uh, these little guys, the little, the little motor, the, the, <laughs> the little uh, flying monkeys, you know, which are really cool. I, I really like the, the way these images came out, even though some of them look like gremlins. But Mid Journey cranks out some some awesome work. So let's scroll down to some of the uh, images I I finished. In fact, let's try. Should we try this kid? Why not? I really don't want to work on that. Let me see. This is a pretty cool looking dude. Look at this dude. Alright, let's try this dude. So, let's open him up in another uh, profile. Let's go ahead and save him. Alright, now that we have that dude saved, let's go ahead and uh, Photoshop. And drop that guy in there. All right, so one thing you want to notice about composites, all right? So I like to take notes before I start doing anything. So a couple of key things we want to focus on before we start working on this is, uh, all right, so this is sharp, because we're about to, we have to extract this image, right? This is kind of blurry. We have to focus on that. This isn't too bad. But also it looks like the camera angle was kind of shot um let's see if it's, for instance this is the camera like the camera was kind of pointed down looking at him i guess it doesn't look like the camera was shot you know looking straight forward if that makes sense it looked like it was kind of shot with a down angle 
So the image we're creating is probably going to have to, because we want to match perspectives. We can always manipulate it, but it'd be better if we could just match perspectives when it comes to background. So we're going to keep that image when we're uh, creating our background image. But let's go ahead and extract this background. First, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this layer. Just hit Control J. And um, what I'll probably want to do next is probably just go to Subject. Since Photoshop's algorithm has gotten a little better. We're going to see what it pulls for us before we uh, move along. It might be able to extract the whole thing. We might have to go in and do some more masking. I'm not sure. So let's see what it does. As you can see, it did a pretty good rough mask. Pretty good rough mask. But it's still more that it, it can pull off. So let's go right ahead and... grab the rest of this so I'm gonna do this right quick you guys just hold on we're gonna pull the rest of this mask then we we'll just grab a lasso too Alright, so around the hair, we're just gonna make it rough because we're gonna go back in there with a brush tool probably later and draw that back in. Not to worry about the hair right now. This is another thing uh, I noticed with Mid Journey is that. Uh, it hasn't really got to the quality yet where it's like super high res. It's high res enough. I mean, I think this image is like kind of a, uh, let's see. Cause I think I exported it out at, I probably got it, could have got it at high re more high resolution than this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's only, at, in, it, as you see it's like 72 resolution. So it's not 300, it's not 150, but we're gonna make it do what it do for right now. I think when I created this, it was like maybe a, a month ago, way before I learned more about how to, to get it to look even more sharper and get the resolution even more higher than it is. So uh, we're gonna click Select and Mask. And we're gonna click on Refine here also. Why not? Let's take a look here, see what we got. See how it looks on black. Let's refine the hair a little bit. I need to make the brush a little bigger. But that's not working out too well for us, is it? Let me see. Let's try the minus two. Well, that's not that bad. We can always go back in and draw some more. But as far as uh, overall mass, this looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna shrink the edge just a little bit. Increase the contrast just a little bit. And I think we're gonna roll with that. All right, so we got our mask. Let's create a blank layer below that and just fill it with um, with black. Yeah, we got to fill this in right here. Also, let's get a brush and fill that in. Not bad of a mask. As you can see around the hair, we still have some cleaning up to do, but we won't know. Um, how much cleaning up we have to do until we find out what image we want to use. Which is what we're about to go do right now. Let's go ahead and fill this in also. Alright. Alright, so next up we're going to go back to Mid Journey and we're going to try to create a background for this little guy. So this is a little munchkin. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think we should give it like a carnival background, a yellow brick road? Uh, let's see, let's try Let's try to give it the background that's not like the Wiz, where, you know, it's in a dark, you know, um, a dark building. Let's try to give it a bright place like it was in the original Wizard of Oz, where it's outside, 
and a yellow brick road. Let's see if we can do that. All right, so we got that saved. Let's go back over here. To mid journey. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit backspace. Imagine. And let's probably do uh, Land of Oz, Yellow Brick Road, um, Colorful Flowers, Colorful Clouds, and Bright. Let's do um, cinematic lighting. And so we get it in, um, uh, let's, put, let's add a seed also. Let's just do a seed one. That way every image that, that cranks out will be similar to the, um, the one that it creates the first time. I'll do a tutorial on that. And let's do, Two, three, so we can keep the same perspective, which is portrait style, aspect ratio, 2.3, and let's crank up the quality to, I think the highest it can go is five. See, I don't think I had this on the little munchkin guy. I didn't know about, you know, I think my quality was at two when I made him, but Q, uh, uh, it's, it's a shortcut for quality. And I think the highest it can go up to is five. So let's see what it uh, cranks out and see what it gives us. And while we're waiting on that, let's just uh, let's go over and, and let's just go ahead and jump the gun on it. Let me refresh this because I might get uh, ChatGPT is always logging out. Let's type uh, describe how the land of the Munchkins looked. In the Wizard of Oz. Horrible speech. And there's ChatGPT going at it, doing what it does. Some shades of color, vibrant place. Houses and buildings brightly painted. Various shades of blue and pinks. All right, so let me tell it to, can you condense this down to just the features? and highlights of the scenery, I guess. Scenery. Uh, separating them with commas. Uh, and a bunch of keywords. And see what it does. There we go. That's a nice little prompt for you. Colorful, vibrant, brightly painted houses, buildings. And let's see what it did over here. It's not that bad. I like the yellow brick road right there. So um, we're going to copy this. I'm going to go back to Imagine paste that and we're gonna go and bring this in also and probably put it right take out bright all right so colorful clouds colorful vibrant brightly painted houses blah 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 flowers happy welcoming all right let's see what that does but from this, I think I like this version right here. And I like this one up here. So let's let's go ahead and upscale that one. And we're gonna upscale number four. Just in case we wanna bring that in and use those. Now you know these munchkins don't, don't stay in houses this big mid journey. Come on now. I should have put munchkins. Yeah, I think I should have put land of the munchkins. Cause these are some huge houses. I like the clouds in this one. I actually like this one too. 
But let's take a look at the color. Let's see, he is, the background is kind of a green tint. You see the sun is coming. We also have to think about this also when it comes to lighting, all right? And it comes to composites. So this munchkin is being, um, he's being lit. from his left side and you can tell the light source is coming from this angle right here you can see it in his eye right there and you can see he has a, a rim light hitting the side of his face right there he has light coming from the back on the left all right so when it comes to composites and making them look realistic you have to think about the background first of all and yet to want to match the background with the composite and the lighting so what we're looking for is an image that's going to have lighting coming from his left side and maybe some some light that's bouncing in from the back on the right but the key light most of it's going to be from the, the left so we want to keep that in mind when we're looking at doing composites because you want it to look as realistic as possible like you see this one you can see the bulk of the light is coming from where the left so we won't want to use that this one is kind of like you know it's kind of backlit I don't know well the light you, you do see the light on the side of the house right here so it is coming from that side this one here you can see the bulk of the light is coming from the left but we can always flip that around which is what I'm thinking about doing because I do like that image and this one here you can see the light is uh, coming if you don't know you can always look at the clouds too you can see where's where's the sun hitting the cloud it's hitting from this side so I like that one I like this one too. So um, let me go over to my Mid Journey account. For any of you don't know, once you once you've done creating in your Discord, it'll send all your images to your Mid Journey account. That way you can review them and look at them. And I'm gonna re-roll this first one out. Um, well, let's do this one more time. Let's go to imagine. Let's see if we can get some smaller houses. Land of, let's say, Mushkin. Land of Oz. Brightly painted small houses. All right, and let's add more emphasis on the yellow brick road. Let's put a weight of two on that. And I think that's I think that's what we're gonna roll with. We're gonna see what that cranks out for us. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna start bringing some of these images in and see if you know if it looks good. This one's still generating, I think. Oh, it's not. See, I'm not, I'm not sure if I like the the pixelated look on this house. I mean, on, on this this image here. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks really grainy. I'm not sure why it looks grainy like that. That is kind of weird. I've never seen the images come out that grainy like that. That's the first. Unless it's still generated, which I don't think it is. All right, so let's click on this one. This one isn't as so grainy. Let's just try this one out. Let's open that up to a new tab. Let's click on that. We're gonna click on save. And we're gonna we're gonna go back to this one. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up. We're gonna go save that one also. Probably can get fixed with a quick blur from what it looks like. You might be able to fix it with the blur and probably resharp. I don't know. We're gonna see. And we're gonna look one more time. Oh, now we're getting munchkin. Now we're getting munchkin. Yeah, I like these. Yeah, this look is some old Dr. Seuss type of just, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I like these. You know what probably did it was the um putting munchkin and actually putting I mean putting munchkin in front of the word Land of Oz. Instead of just putting Land of Oz and it's just giving us this nice little you know, um yeah, these look great. Let's go ahead and drop in a couple of these other ones though, just to take a look and see if it gives us anything worth looking at.
Let's scale that up a little bit. That's not that bad. Let me see where the sun is coming from. It's coming from that side, yeah. I'm not too sure if I like the reds though. Yeah. Let's try a different one. I'm not too feeling that one. That one's pretty cool too. Kind of looks like a cereal box. Let's try another one. It's not too bad. Kind of like that one too. But we're getting somewhere, right? Let's see what else we can add. Try something different. Because I'm really liking the little munchkin lands that, that uh, were generated. These guys, these look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and save these guys. Bring all these in. And what's actually cool is like now we can, I can go back to one of those other little munchkin guys where we can actually see the feet and drag him in. Cause I don't think we can see the feet on this guy. No, we can't. So it's kind of this one's kind of like it was. If it was shot, probably it looked like it was shot with the 85 millimeter, or it was shot with the 85, or 72 to 100. Basically, a telephoto lens. Um, those other guys were either shot with the same thing, or just shot, you know, with the photographer standing way back. These images are kind of clunky, but the thing is, this is just a composite, so um, these houses are going to be in the background, and they're probably going to be blurred out. I'm probably going to add like a um, a depth of field blur onto it. We just want we just want the look, you know, um, not to focus on the detail. We're just trying to match color for color and background. And speaking of matching color for color, Photoshop has a new filter that does that. We're going to put that to the test today too. Let's drag this one in. This one's pretty cool. Let's try the next one. Yeah, don't ever let nobody tell you doing composites is just a click of a button because it's not. Yeah, well, I'm not even going to add that one. Where's the third image? This is one, two. I saved another guy. The push come to shove. We're just going to uh, we're going to choose one of these, and we're going to make it work. We're going to match the colors. I kind of like this one. Either way, we're gonna just go ahead with this little background right here. I think this one will do the job. All right, but first, let's go ahead and work on his hair right quick. <laughs> um, do I have a hairbrush? Well, if you guys don't have a hairbrush, how would I show you guys that? Let's do this. Let's just turn the flow down a little bit. Lightly brush that out, the black parts of the background. And this is a rough composite we're not gonna get too detailed today I just want to match colors we'll do that in another tutorial so I'm not gonna spend too much time on because I really want to create a hairbrush but um, I spent enough time already showing you guys uh, the other stuff so we'll go back to that another time let's just go ahead and lightly brush these out Because essentially what I would do with the hairbrush, I would just basically, you know, stone uh, clone stamp the hair that's already there 
and just brush out new strands and it'll be an easy fix so um wait a minute what is this guy down here is that on the ground that's on the ground I don't like it though so let's go ahead and Let's just do um, patch tool. Oh, I keep forgetting if it's a smart object, it won't let you do it. So let's rasterize that. Let's use the smart patch tool. Let's just drag that out. Done. All right, so let's try this new feature Photoshop has when it matches colors, right? Let's go ahead and get these other guys out of here. Let's go ahead and create a smart, turn this into a smart object. And let's go back to filter and do blur gallery and we're gonna do fill blur. This kind of helps out. We're gonna click OK. It's kind of the image I do want to see right there. Now let's go back up top to neutral filter and go back to harmonization tool. Reference image, it's background. There we go. All right, I like that. So I went from this to this, went from that to that it's not bad it's a rough composite as you can see we can still go back and clean up the hair we're not going to do that today i just want to show you guys you know a quick rough composite how you can take one image which is this that we rendered out in mid-journey and then take a second image which is this and then when you combine it you get this right here so it's not that bad now I'm old school when it comes to composites. I like to go and add my own, you know, adjustment layers. But with this new neutral filter, that I mean, it does a pretty decent job. I mean, you can always go back and add more. Usually, I like to go and add like a black and white layer. And uh, let me see, we crank the yellows like that, like that. Let me show you what what else I like to do, guys. And we're gonna go and add that to luminosity. As you can see before, after, before, after. It's a, bit, a little more of a better blend. Also, I like to go and add another black and white layer. I usually do this with beauty retouching. And then I would just drop the opacity down on that to like maybe, you know, depending on what, you know, so it's not super saturated, but this is a muskin. So this looks pretty cool too, but we're gonna bring some other color in. I kinda like this look right here. And you can always go on top of this and add different overlays like magic, you know, floating things, you know, to make it even more creative. You know, you can have stuff floating in the foreground in front of them. Um, however you wanna do it, whatever, you know, your heart desire, you can go add Nick, Nick, uh, Nick software to add, you know, more filters, but I'm satisfied with this. This was just to show you guys, you know, how to take one image and stick it in front of another image in mid journey. If it doesn't generate the background that you actually like. All right. So we're going to do more of these, but, uh, we're going to stop right here. I hope you guys learned a little bit about compositing and, uh, we're going to jump onto the next one.